good morning student today we will do the sums from lesson number 9 and exercise number 9.2 this exercise is about the addition of addition as well as subtraction of um, the money okay as per the instruction in first add first addition is rupees 418.35 and rupees 129.83 first of all we have to arrange like this rupees 418.35 plus rupees 129.83 now the simple addition and the result is 548 rupees 548.18 okay similarly in 2 you see there are two amounts of money first number is rupees 176.85 and rupees 93.50 naturally we have to arrange like this 176.86 Three is in unit place or one place, and nine in is in ten place. So we have arranged like this: nine, three, five, zero. Now the uh, after adding these two amounts, we have the result two rupees two hundred seventy point three five. That means two hundred seventy rupees thirty five paisa. Again in three, the there are two <coughs> amounts of money: rupees two hundred twenty five. Point five zero and rupees three hundred seventy six point seven five. Okay, now we have to arrange like this: rupees two hundred twenty five point five zero and rupees three hundred seventy six point seven five. This is also the simple addition. Simple addition means carry plus. So after adding these two amounts, we have the result: rupees six hundred two point two five. Okay, now in Four, we see that the loop is four hundred thirty nine point eight zero to be added with three hundred rupees three hundred forty eight point seven five. Okay, now we have arranged like this: rupees four hundred thirty nine point eight zero plus rupees three hundred forty eight point seven five. After adding these two amounts of money, we have the result: rupees seven hundred eighty eight. Point five five. That means rupees seven hundred seven hundred eighty eight rupees fifty five paisa. In five we see that there are three amounts of money. Number one is rupees one zero five. That is hundred and five point two five. Second amount is two hundred nineteen point eight zero. And third amount is up to digit. That is eighty five point seven six. Five is in one place, eight is in ten place. So carefully you have to write it. After adding these three amounts of money, we have the result four hundred ten point eight one. That means rupees four hundred ten and eighty one paisa. Similarly, in six there are three amounts of money. We have to arrange in column first time rupees eight hundred point eight zero. And in second, it is eighty nine, only eighty nine point seven zero. But in third, the amount is one hundred. Okay. Now, after adding these three amounts of money, we can get the result as rupees nine hundred ninety point five zero. That means rupees nine hundred ninety and fifty paisa. Now, we will do some word problem from. uh this chapter the first word problem is rekha bought a book for rupees 87 a pen for rupees 25.25 and watercolor for rupees 130.90 okay she gave one 500 rupee note to the bookseller what did the bookseller return to her Read it carefully. Rekha three articles buy kia. Number one book for eighty seven rupees, a pen for rupees twenty five and twenty five paisa, and 
a watercolor for rupees 130.90 so we have to find out the total cost of these three articles okay we have done it rekha bought a book for rupees 87.00 a pen for rupees 25.25 and the watercolor for rupees 130.90 therefore we can calculate the total cost of the three articles is rupees 243.15 this is the total cost of the uh, three articles three articles means book pen and watercolor now now rekha gave the shopkeeper now rekha paid the shopkeeper uh, 500 rupees one note of 500 rupees obviously uh, the sub uh, bookseller bookseller will take the exact amount of the article then rest of the money he will return to rekha so that is why we have to subtract 243.15 from the given money 500 so after subtraction after subtraction we get therefore the bookseller returned the money to rekha bookseller ne kitna paisa wapas kiya na rupees after subtraction we have 256.85 so we see that the bookseller the bookseller will take 243.15 rupees and then he returned 200 rupees 256.85 to rekha Rekha ko itna paisa bapas diya tha. Okay student. Similarly in 14 number in 14 number we see Sweta bought a tricycle. Sweta bought a tricycle for rupees 650.50. That is 650 rupees and 50 paisa. A book for rupees 190.25 and a gift set for rupees 125.75 she gave two notes of 500 rupees each to the shopkeeper how much balance did she get back try to understand sweta bought three articles number one is tricycle for rupees 650.50 another article or another thing is a book that is for rupees 190.25 and a gift set for rupees 125.75 these three articles were bought by sweater so we have to calculate the total cost of these three articles three articles means tricycle book and a gift box okay the total cost of uh, tri the cost of tricycle is rupees 650.50 a book cost 190.25 gift for rupees 125.75 okay now the total cost of these articles will be calculated after adding these three amount of money and doing so we have the amount total amount is rupees 966.50 okay now sweta paid the shopkeeper equal to 2 into rupees 500 kyunki sweta ne pay kiya tha 500 rupees note to do 500 rupees ka note so total amount will be 2 multiplied by 500 equal to rupees 1000 subkeeper will take 966.50 because this is the total cost of the three articles so subkeeper will cut or take only 966.50 from uh, sweater then he will give the return rupees 33.50 that means we have to subtract 966.50 this is the exact uh, cost total cost of the three articles above three articles we have to subtract this amount from 1000 because sweater paid total 1000 rupees 
तो सबकीपर विल टेक रेस्ट ऑफ द मनी ही विल गिव टू द स्वेटर दैट इज व्हाई आफ्टर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग वी हैव रुपीस 33.50 दैट मींस रेखा ए स्वेटर गॉट बैक स्वेटर गॉट बैक रुपीस 33.50 फ्रॉम द सबकीपर ओके स्टूडेंट नाउ योर होमवर्क इज do all the do so so sweater got back rupees 33.50 from the shopkeeper okay now your homework will be do all the sums in your classwork copy okay student thank you